Hey guys, Stephanie here from projectlifemastery.com. I want to share with you guys a cool story um, and a really good lesson from someone who had bought my K Money Mastery program, went through it, published a few Kindle books, did pretty well, made some money from it, but then took that idea, took the skills and everything that he built and started making money from it in a different way. Okay, so let me share the story. So this person enrolled in K Money Mastery, um, had a bit of success with it, was doing pretty well, but came to the realization that they basically, by going through the program, they had learned some really valuable skills, right? They learned how to publish a book, how to market it on Amazon and get reviews and rank it and all these cool skills just by going through the program. And they started to think about how could they then use these skills to make money in a different way. And so they had the realization that, you know, there's a lot of authors out there, people that are great writers that have written books or want to write books but they're not that good at publishing. They're not that good at marketing and promoting their books. You know, that's why people hire publishing companies, right? These big publishing companies and give them a lot of money or work with them because they handle the publishing, the marketing, and then the author just writes the book. And so he decided, you know, why don't I approach these authors? You know, why don't I just, you know, say to them, hey, you know what? I can promote your book, I can publish it, I can get it out there, I can get reviews, I can rank it on Amazon, and I can kind of help you and guide you with that because there's so many authors, unfortunately, if you have a great book, it can be an amazing product that can really help people, but if you don't know how to market it or sell it or publish it, then no one's gonna benefit from it. You're not gonna make any money at the same time as well. So he had recognized he had these valuable skills and he approached these different authors and he did a 50-50 split, okay? You get 50%, I get 50%. This is what I'm gonna do for you, or you can just pay me a flat rate. And he had great success with this. Um, he was actually sharing with me all the success that he's been having with it, and he's actually created a business out of this. And uh, you know, it's just a really cool lesson that, you know, part of what I try to teach on my videos and in my K Money Mastery program, I'm not trying to teach you how to be a Kindle publisher. I'm teaching you how to be an internet marketer. I'm teaching you how to be an entrepreneur because for me that's more important than just being able to publish books and make money in that limited way. I want to teach you the skills, the mindset, the strategies that can allow you to be an entrepreneur because if you have the identity as an entrepreneur or an online marketer, then there's unlimited possibilities for you. You can think outside the box in different ways and you know, here's an entrepreneur that went through K Money Mastery and was able to put his entrepreneurial brain on and think of different strategies, be creative. You know, think about how there's a problem out there or there's a demand for something and then why don't I meet that demand with a solution? And he's been able to have great success with that, building a publishing company just that way. You know, so uh, it was a really cool story, it really inspired me and I wanted to share that with you guys just to think outside the box in different ways. You know, you already have certain skills in your life that you've acquired but it's a matter of thinking of ways that you can use them in different ways, okay? Using the skills that you already have. You know, there's, you know, I look at my life, by the way, and when I first started online marketing, I didn't make any money in three years. It was just three years of trying to figure stuff out and reading forums. I refused to buy a product because I was, my mindset wasn't there, you know? I was just trying to do everything for free, which I do not recommend. I could have saved a lot of time just by investing in something. But I tried to figure everything out and read the forums and blogs and trial and error and all this sort of stuff. I didn't make any money for three years. I struggled, but I didn't give up because I had this dream, this desire for it. I remember reading books like the four hour work week and, and I was just like, that's for me. That's what I want. I want to have that lifestyle. I remember going to the seminars um, and just seeing you know, the, the lifestyle, the experience and, and just being motivated by that, just knowing that's what I wanted and reading the books. So I knew that was for me. Those three years of failure, I guess you could call it, have been my greatest asset today because those three years of struggling and not making money, I acquired very powerful skills that have now benefited me today in having a lot of the success that I'm having. And that's the great thing about it. All those things that I learned are now my greatest asset. They've helped me because Back then, I, I was trying to figure out how to use WordPress and blog and write articles and um, all these sort of things that I got from that that now are useful for me today. 
And even a lot of people, you know, with Kindle publishing or anything, you got to understand, even if you don't make money, even if you fail, it's still an asset. It's still a gift. It's still a benefit for you because you learned a lot about a process. You acquired these great skills that you may have never even knew before. You know, there's people that might even join my K Money Mastery program and let's say they don't make any money from it. But now they've learned all of a sudden how to get covers done and how to outsource things and how to hire virtual assistants and Odesk and all these cool things and all these marketing strategies from that program. Even if they didn't make any money from the exact program that I shared with them, they could then take those skills to the next online business that they start and now they know already how to use, how to hire virtual assistants and how to, you know, get covers and graphics done and all these cool things, how to come up with great headlines and great titles and outsource things. You can take those skills and use them in a different way. That's the power and that's how you have to think is that there's really, there's no such thing as failure. There's no such thing as a bad experience because you can learn from everything in your life. You can use them as an asset and get the lessons from it and they end up serving you for the greater good down the road. And some of the things right now, you're planting all these different seeds you're not, may not see the results of those right away, but in the future, that's when it's really gonna benefit you. So, cool story. Um, yeah, I just wanna share that with you guys and just a way of, of thinking that I really, was really inspired by. And uh, it's the way that I think as well, and hopefully you guys can adopt it for your own life and your own business also. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you soon.